beautiful people from around the world. It's your girl, Daddy Sims, and... Jason. And today, we are blind dating. What do you wear when you go to bed? Uh, sometimes I go naked. So what would you do if I wanted six? Six? Yes. You're very quiet. What, what's your sign? Pisces. I was married to a Pisces, 17 years. How was it? It was a jail sentence. I dated a guy from Seattle. And the guy was toxic in a way that he wanted to be the alpha and you know he wanted a submissive woman, so I'd say take on that. Jason, what are you looking for today? Um, beauty. Beauty. And intellect. Mm-hmm. Mm. You see, the beauty part might have to wait until the end because I'm actually going to blindfold you and send you out on this date. Oh, I can I can sense intellect, so. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, is there any type of lady specifically that we are looking into today? Someone mentally stimulating. Is there anything specific that you would want to know? Um, I like dark-skinned women. Mm-hmm. Insane women. Women insane. who are women who are sane. Oh, uh, sane or insane? Sane. Okay, sane. sane. Okay. That's so attractive. Mm -hmm. A sane woman. Love that, love yeah. that. So are you ready to get out there and get to meet these lovely ladies today? Yeah, absolutely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do not touch your doubt. We're about to get this guy suited up and ready to go on these blind dates. Hi, my name is Jason. I'm Vicky. Vicky. Mm -hmm. nice Very to meet nice you. to meet you. Mm. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Vicky. Is there anything that you wanna you wanna ask me? What's your favorite color? Orange and black. So. What is your favorite color? Um, uh, how about I say my favorite color? That's fine. A white Range Rover. Would be good. <laughs> so you know my favorite color, right? Yes, I know. Yeah. Have you ever been in a white Range Rover? Yeah, but not mine. No, not yours. Yeah, of course. Do you want one? Yeah. Your husband's going to get you one? Definitely. Ah, okay. What color are your fingernails? I don't have polish on. What about your toes? White. White. Do you sleep with your eyes open? No. Or you tell them Okay, I know you don't know that, right? Mm. So that means a night dancer. Are you familiar with that? Not really. How about cannibal? Honey boo? Cannibal. Cannibal? Yes. As in eating people? Yes. No. So, Moses is that kind of person that would eat other people. So, it's not part of our culture to sleep with the eyes open. Oh. Mm -hmm. What tribe are you from? I am a Nyaranda, but a Ugandan. Is what part of the country is that? North, South, West? That is Rwanda. That's a different country. Oh, Rwanda. Yes. Ah, oh, how long have you been here? My lifetime. I was born here. Um. Okay. So, how do you how do you sleep in a bed on your stomach, your side? Other sides. That's so comfortable for me. What do you wear when you go to bed? Uh, sometimes I go naked because mm. I sleep alone. So. Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, where are you from? Detroit, Detroit. Michigan. Yeah. Where is that? Uh, the States, oh, US. Oh, the States. Mm. So I know you guys are so naughty. What's your favorite part of foreplay? My favorite part of foreplay? Uh, probably thinking about foreplay before I actually even start foreplay. Really? Yeah, I have a I have a whole circus in my head of things I want to do. Okay. Yeah. And, okay, what do you love to do? Like kissing, caressing? I love kissing. I love okay. touching, cuddling. I love rubbing feet. Um, ah, I'm quite aggressive, so I like to bite, I like to smack, um, I like to talk dirty. Oh, um, goodness. Yeah, everything I think you heard about Americans is, might be true. Might be, I, I, I don't know what you heard, so. A lot? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you heard. <laughs> I've heard a lot. So. And you, what is your foreplay? What are the other things that you like to do during foreplay before you actually get down to sex? Kissing. Kissing. Anywhere, the neck, Wet kisses. Toes. You like you prefer wet kisses or just like kisses. The guy kissing me. I mean, someone to worship my body. Mm. Yeah. You have a body of being worshipped. Of course, I'm a goddess. Uh, tiny waist, wide hips, curvy. Um, I should say I'm like Scarlett Johansson. You're. Oh, I actually like Scarlett Johansson. Mm. Uh, I'm very curious about. 
this woman's Vicky, how she, how she shaped. She said she was dark. I love dark-skinned women. Um, I wonder what her feet looks like and her face. She seemed a little uh, very nervous. I had, I felt her shaking behind me, so I have that effect. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good. I'm happy to be here with you. I'm very happy. So can I know your name? I'm Jason, and you? I'm Joanna, why do we have a J? J it might be something. Oh. <laughs> worth <laughs> investigating there. Yeah. yeah, I'm Joanna Bliss, you know. I have a bliss because I'm always blissful, feeling blissful. I am Jason, mm -hmm. Lord of the Up and Down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, I. I was thinking, uh -huh. um, what was the last gift that you bought your boyfriend and how much was it? I bought him shoes, a pair of shoes, okay. and it was just um, like $100. Okay. Yeah, but that's what I could afford by then. But if I could afford a lot, I would have done that. It's it's fine. What about you? Um, It was a gold necklace, a gold chain. Wow, that's sweet of you. So how long have you spent... Uh, Single? Um, a year, two years. Oh, how have you found it? Boring sometimes, exciting sometimes. Okay. And you? I have been single for three years. Oof. Yeah. What do you do on those lonely nights? <laughs> no, I'm good. You're good? Yeah, I'm good until I find the right one, you know? Really? Yeah, so I'm patient. Okay. Yeah. So, mm. um... I'm sweating, so I'm assuming that you look really good, so. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking in my mind, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I told you mm. that I'd pay all the bills, mm. your phone bill, mm -hmm. everything. Yes. But I wouldn't be faithful. Or we can go half and I'd be completely faithful to you. What? Um, in love, why would we do that? Why would you pay all my bills and you're not faithful? Because me, I'm that person who debts you because I love you. Mm -hmm. Not of what you provide. Of course, we have to survive, but I need you. I need you to be my part, my other half. Then why would you pay bills that then you're not faithful? How would we live in a long haul? How would we? All I know is that the, the water people came and shut my water off, and I couldn't pay it with love. Well, there are some people who are still good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still good. I'm still, still good, good, and I'm, I hope to get somebody who will love me without conditions. Mm. It was just a question I just wanted to know. Yeah. So, um, are you looking for someone to spend a uh, long time together or it's a short term thing? I'm looking for someone I can love on for. I'm an old man now, so I'm, I'm trying to go the distance with the rest of my life. So, wow. I'm looking for someone to be there. Oh, that's nice. So, mm. would you uh, would you want to have kids right now? Kids would would definitely depend on a woman. Uh -huh. um, be, because I'm open, I just, you know, I need some convincing. <laughs> so what would you do if I wanted six? Six? Yes. <laughs> six? <laughs> That's what I want. Six kids um, down the road. We would probably have to start as soon as we finish taping, right? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Wow. So what do you do? I work on movies. Wow. How do you find it? I like it. I like it. Um, it's very exciting. That's nice. Mm. So can I touch your hand just to, say, to feel you and I say goodbye? Uh, yeah. They're a little sweaty because you're making me sweat. Oh. Uh. It's okay. How's that? Yeah. It feels soft, you know? Uh. Yeah. Oh. My God, I can't wait to meet you in person. Comes from smacking my employees. <laughs> so I guess it's the end. So maybe, hopefully, God willing. Mm, hopefully. You'll be coming with me tonight. Yeah. Over my shoulder. So day number two, um, hey, I have a big question mark for day number two. Um, I believe she can get it. I don't know what she look like, um, but we'll figure that out. I, I asked these questions that I'm asking, I, I, I spent five hours trying to think of the perfect question. So if you guys find them funny, that's that's good. That's good. I did my job. But um, you know, we'll keep seeing. I got two more days to go. So we're going we're gonna to see. How are you? I'm Jason. I'm Jovia. Thank you. Jovia. It's pretty. It's good. Uh, so Jovia. Yes, please. How long have you been single? One year. One year. How about you? Um, maybe a year and a half, two years. Really? How possible? Very possible. Why? Um, I put my work first. Okay. So you don't consider your life? Uh, yes, I do. But it seems you put work at the front. 
I do, I do. If I don't have any, I can't take you out if I don't have any money, right? Of course. Yeah, so I have to make the, I have to make the money. Good. What do you do? I do modeling and some other business. Model. Okay, some other business. It's shady business, legal business, criminal, what is it? It's legal. Okay, it scares me when a woman <laughs> no. just says that. You don't have to be scared. It's legal. Okay. What do you do for a living? Um, work on movies, films. Okay. For how long? I've been doing that for for a while now. Um, ten years, fifteen years. Cool. A few moments later. You're very quiet. What, what's your sign? Pisces. You're Pisces. Yes. I was married to a Pisces, seventeen years. How is it? It was a jail sentence. I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, before it was bad, it was very good. But, you know, I'm divorced seven years now, so. Oh, sorry. Um, do you like to kiss? Are you a kisser? Oh, of course, I You are helpless romantic or are you, you like it rough? In the bedroom, do you like, you like it rough or you like a slow hand? I prefer a slow one because it's sweet and nice. Mm. Yeah. Uganda women are known for, for I don't know if I'm saying it right, Nash. You have the Nash? Not really. Not really? I'm a slim bear. You're slim? Yeah. Slim is good. Tall glass of water? Kind of. Huh. Can you cook? <laughs> yeah, I do cook. You do? Can you dance? Oh, uh, not really. Not really? That's not my thing. Do you have sexy clothes? Like, I like for my girl to cook wearing sexy things only for me. Mm-hmm. And... Can you do that? Of course, I can do it for my man. Ah, you want any kids? Um, yeah, one or two. One or two. Yep. And in your last relationship, um, what was the last thing, what was the most expensive thing you bought your boyfriend? A watch. A watch. So if I invite you over, um, will I have to pay for transport or will you pay for transport? Um, since I work, I would facilitate myself, but it also depends on if you can, you do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you sleep at night? Are you a wild sleeper? Are you all over the bed or are you just in one spot? All over the bed. All over the bed. Yes. I think this is the end for us. Um, I don't want to, I hate long goodbye, so I'll say I'll see you tonight. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. That one was a little difficult to tell, but I'm sweating profusely, so I think she looked pretty good. I, I can feel the sweat like rolling down my back, and her hands were soft, so I'm thinking she got, um, I don't know if I can say this on camera, so I won't, but yeah. And I felt her shoulder, so I know she's a tiny woman, but um, we, I have one more to go, so, you know, we're going to see. I like to see, see all my ducks before I pick one. Should I say ducks? My swans. Hi. How are you? I'm okay, how are you? I'm fine. Nice to meet you here. Same, same. What's your name? Uh, my name is Brenda Loreen, aka Eastern Queen, yes. Brenda Loreen? Yes, aka Eastern Queen. Uh, I am Jason, Jason. AKA, aka. Okay. Um, the king of the up and down. Up and down? Yeah. What does that imply? I mean, up and down. In the bedroom. In, in the bedroom, king of up and down. <laughs> Can, okay. <laughs> that Bainanga. is interesting. <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. Do you know any Luganda? Uh, little, little, Chitono, Chitono. Okay, how long have you been here? Uh, one year. And how have you found it? Uh, f uh, very good, very good. It was difficult, but I made my way. Then why are you on the show? You must have seen a lot of beautiful girls out there. I mean, the other part of Africa. Um, what got me here is the, the whole Kinganda movement, so mm -hmm. when I came, I wanted to be on the show. You just wanted to see more sexy babes? I wanted the world to see how handsome I am. <laughs> oh, love it, cause I love your level of confidence. I love that. Mm. Yeah. So, um, I wanted to ask. Right now, is your brain releasing some dopamine chemicals? It, it is. I feel light. You're feeling. I feel like I feel I'm like floating. Much. I'm levitating. So, are you liking what you're hearing? Cause you can't see it. You know. Uh, are you yeah. liking the vibes? I am. Okay. So, I am. Okay, that's interesting. I wanted to know more about your family and spiritual perspective like what are your ethics in terms of family and um family give me something more specific um you know for example what do you do you want to start a family do you have a family already i uh, like, know um i don't have a family i'm divorced i'm single you're divorced um 
Uh, before I start a family, I have to find a woman to start a family with, so. Okay. Um, Did you have a child? I have, I have two daughters. Oh, amazing. Um, from a previous marriage. Okay. Um, Ayana and Amir, pretty beautiful girls, beautiful girls. That's nice. I love children, though, <laughs> anyway. And uh, how, what did you learn from your past relationship that you're willing to impact or to fit into your future relationship? Uh, I learned to tell a woman no, she can't hear yes all the time. Um, <laughs> I've learned to be open sometimes. I, when I look back at my old, sometimes I look at my old relationship and I say, well, okay. instead of saying no, I could have said yes. Okay. I could have been a little bit nicer. So just, um, that. I think I've entered the realm of forgiveness and um, redemption. I mean, yeah, I think I entered the realm of just forgiving and want to be forgiven, so. Okay. That is, that is really nice. So I wanted to ask, because personally, I know you've not asked, but let me say it. I dated a guy from Seattle, and he's, he was, I don't know, he was another, I think I need to make another serial of who the f*** did I date, because it was another. Let me, let me feel your hands, tell the story. You, you wanted to? Don't feel your hands, but you can tell the story. Okay. This side for camera, because. Oh, this side. This for camera. So, okay. um. The guy was toxic in a way that he wanted to be the alpha and, you know, he wanted a submissive woman. So what's your take on that? Do you want a submissive woman and are you a good leader? Because for a woman to be submissive, man, you have to be a good leader. Have you ever been submissive? I mean, is, is, is it just on and off switch with you? I can be submissive to a man who, who makes me feel like, um, you know, treat me like a queen, be a good leader to me and, and trust me, I will be submissive. Submissive, I usually just demand that off the back. It's nothing that I have to say. I just look at a woman's, her demeanor and her demeanor, how she how she reacts to you, it'll let you know if she's being submissive or she's she's being like um, rebellion, rebellious or something. But I can tell how a woman is just standing next to me, how she looks at me, the things that she say. Yeah. Have she give me if she's giving me submission or not? So if she doesn't, it's not negotiable. Then she can go. Yeah, but you also know it depends on how you lead her. Do you agree on that? Yeah, I do agree. Somebody does want submissive women, which is not. It doesn't add up. Anyway. I don't want to like go too much into that. No, I think the submission is your thing. Like I don't, I don't. That's not even a question in my world. Okay. A woman being submissive okay. because if she's not, it's not negotiable. Yes. Then um, let me go to the financial bit. So, what is your financial ethic in a relationship? Um, like I said, um, I will pay for everything. Okay. I'm glad you asked me this. That's nice. So if I pay for everything, yeah. then I'm going to say um, I'm not going to be faithful. But if I'm going to be faithful, then we're going to go half. Then yeah. we're going to go half. If you want me to be faithful, then we'll go half. If you if you want me to pay for everything, then I'm not going to be faithful. And oh, how about rules? If if rules were reversed and I'm done paying for most of that thing, are you, do you allow me to cheat? I can't even imagine a world like that. So that's you, I can't even imagine a world like that. You know, sometimes they say don't do don't do things you, you you like don't do things that you don't want people to do to you. So I feel like. I mean, I recognize this is a man's world, but it's still, I mean, it's still a woman's world. A woman, you know, it's, it's a tug of war, but like, you know, that's that's where I'm at. Like, cause I've, I've done, I, I've been a good husband mm -hmm. and uh, it, it really, I just really just got a, a foot on my neck. So now okay. I'm, I kind of feel like, yeah, I'll pay for everything. Don't even go on your wallet, but just know, mm -hmm. just know. And if you want me to be faithful, then we can split everything. Okay. Um. Jason, it was nice chatting with you. You're pretty. Um, Can I feel your hand again? Um, again? Yeah. Okay. Do you I, like them? I think I love you. You love them? <laughs> oh, I'm humbled. People yes. do fall in love with me easily, so I'm not sure. Really? <laughs> yeah. What color is your nail polish? I'm that charming. <laughs> it's a mixture. It's blended. You'll see it. Ah, yeah, the right so. time. Okay, so the last girl, um, I think the thing that stuck out was submission, which is not something I really. Um, I, submission is, is okay, but she brought it up normally like a guy. I, like I don't, I don't know. She had nice nails though. It felt like in my hand, but I don't know. The last girl was a little bit difficult to read. So, but um, like again, we'll see. That the last girl was really difficult out of all four. She was um, probably the most difficult, but maybe she got the biggest, uh, the biggest. <laughs> 
And now it's time for the final reveal. So Jason, I sent you on four blind dates today. How did that go? I enjoyed myself. Mm, yeah, no, we, we, we saw that. We literally saw that. <laughs> we saw that. My guy. Ladies, how do you guys enjoy the dates? How did it go? Just fun. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would be that. I would think I would have more. It's a quiet audience over here. <laughs> it was tense. It was what? Tense. Tense. It was intense. Intense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wrote back so many memories. Yeah. So. I have a way of being intense. Oh my days. So, um, are you ready to make your decision, or would you want to have one final moment? Uh, one getting more to question. The ladies? One more question. For each lady. For each lady, is it the same question? All right, okay, let's start with um, lady number one. Would you prefer to see it or touch it? I would prefer to touch it. Yeah. Yes, I would love to feel it. Okay, okay, let's go over to lady number two. That's Joan. I would prefer it later after I see the owner of it. <laughs> yeah. Of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, let's move on to lady number three. Lady that, number three. That's Jovia. Jovia. Yes. Would you prefer to see it or to touch it? I prefer touching. Touching. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And finally, lady number four, Brenda. Brenda. Yes, please. Would you prefer to touch it or see it? It depends. It Who depends. are we? Yeah. Who's, who's am I touching and seeing? Brenda, I had a feeling you was going to be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> No, really, but yeah, it depends. If you're my, if we are, Brenda. I'll do both. Okay. Yeah. Now, I don't make assumptions, but I don't even know what we're talking about. That's right. I don't feel like That's anyone right. even asked touch or see what, and I don't want to know at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and ask, have you made up your mind? Yes. All right. So, Mr. Jason, are you ready for the moment of truth? Yes. Okay, so who is the lady that you would like to ask on another date? Um, the lady that's gonna have my kids will be Vicky. Vicky, come on, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay, so ladies and Jason, are you guys ready for the reveal? Are you guys ready to take off the blindfolds and everything? That was my Ugandan dance. Yeah. <laughs> I can assure you we do not dance like that. But you pop off, King. You pop off. <laughs> okay, so um, girls and Jason, please take off your blindfolds in three, two, one, go. Jason. You ladies are looking good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Jason, how are we feeling? I'm feeling like a lucky and very unlucky man right now. <laughs> Ladies, how are we feeling? I'm gonna start from down the road, coming all the way up. Oh, goodness. I don't know right now how I'm feeling, but not so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that good or bad? Because I chose you, Vicky, because you have a lot of energy and it, it radiates off of you. All right, shall we move on to the next lady? How are we feeling about this whole situation? Uh, it's actually exciting mm -hmm. and I definitely knew he wasn't the one from Yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate the honesty. Thank yeah. you. Let's move on. Lady number three? 50-50. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. And finally, how do you feel about this whole experience? I feel good because if a man was serious, they would never ask you to choose from support and reality. Mm -hmm. If they love you, they are ready to take care of you. They are ready to spend their life with you mm -hmm. and enjoy love with you. Yeah. All so right. I'm good. All right, well, thank you so much, ladies. So, moment of truth, moment of truth. Can we please have Vicky take a step forward? There we go. Yes, sir, that is your lady. That is your lady. <laughs> okay. So, how do you feel? Are you happy with your selection? Are you content? Would you like to go on another date with Miss Vicky over here? I'm trying to make eye contact with Vicky. I don't know. It's very difficult. I'm trying to put my eyes on you. But she looks very nice. All she right. looks very nice. Well, Vicky, would you want to go on another date with Jason? I'm thinking. Ooh. I have alligator skin, so it's quite all right. <laughs> uh, my answer is no. No? 
Tough love, do you want to let us know why you're choosing to turn down Jason today? I don't feel like we have the same energy. Mm -hmm. No, we definitely don't have the same energy. Um, of course. All right, well, thank you so much, Vicky. And thank you, ladies, for being on the episode today. Please take a step back. Jason, today, unfortunately, has not been your day. I'm it's, so it's sorry. Okay. It's okay. These ladies will look really beautiful. It's okay. Yeah. But nonetheless, thank you so much for being on the Pan-African Dating Show. We have <laughs> loved having you over. Thank you so much. For those of you out there still watching us, please, please, please remember to subscribe to this channel. If you liked this episode, leave a thumbs up. Drop a comment and <laughs> drop a comment to let us know who you guys were shipping and pitching for and what you guys thought of this episode. We'll see you next time when hopefully we do find love. This is Addie Sims and I'm signing out on the Pan-African Dating Show. Bye! Bye, bye. <laughs>